Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, they're going to be checking out. I meant to that. Why was Prophet Muhammad an illiterate? Guys, let's get straight into this. Uh, when I came to the uh, meeting site, I wasn't quite sure what I was coming to. When I came through the door, I was left in no doubt at all. Um, I, it was entitled Jesus and Muhammad. And thank you for putting Jesus first. Um, I, I'm sure you'll accept that you did not put the case for Christianity as a Christian would put it. I'm sure you would. And that I can understand in an audience of this, this kind of was already persuaded towards the Muslim way of thinking. Um, and uh, indeed, I, I would say that I, uh, as an individual, would respect the Quran. Uh, I'm afraid you did not respect my holy book, which is the Bible, in quite the same way. In fact, I'm a teacher. And in my classroom, I've got a television which is fixed to the wall. And on the top of the television, there's just room to put the Quran because I respect in my, my I've got Muslim children in my school. And I put the highest, I know you respect your book, you want to put it in the highest place. So I do that. I put it in the highest place. Now, what I'm saying to you is this you've not really ex, uh, given, uh, in my opinion anyway, the Christian loving and forgiving, these are the two essential things, although you denigrate forgiveness for some reason, uh, as highly as I would. But more than that, perhaps you answer this point. Um, Muhammad, you talked a lot about Jesus, you talked a lot, a lot about our holy book. We're not talking much about, uh, about uh, Muhammad, or, or indeed the Quran too much, um, about the missionary aspect of it. Um, could you tell me how you can believe, and indeed anybody in this room can believe, in one man who um, couldn't read, couldn't write, indeed uh, could get his followers uh, by bloodshed through war, uh, how you can believe that that man was a follower of God, let alone a prophet of God, uh, to, um, uh, uh, and to accept all his teachings as you do so glibly, and yet reject Christianity and the holy book of Christianity so, so, so easily as well. Guys, I think I can answer this because if you read the Quran, and because I feel the Quran is recited, and if you listen to what Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad was reciting, peace be unto him, back then, you know that he was talking, he was receiving these things from God. Because stories from the Quran is kind of very, very similar to the stories of the Bible. So you kind of, you just have to be, because it's almost the same thing. And this is the reason why I will say, because when there was a movie, a movie clip I actually reacted to in in my channel and the Muslims ran away from a they were being persecuted so they ran away to a king and the king was like do you believe in Jesus they said yes they believe he was the prophet of God then it was somehow but that movie actually changed a lot for me because the man asked them how do you know he was like it was written in the Quran. Like, not it was written in the Quran. My prophet, our prophet told us so. And like, no one was like, wow, you believe in Jesus, you believe in God. Like, you believe in one true God. Yes, we Christians believe in one true God. So, it's same thing. Super going to come from me, but I don't really, I don't see Trinity the way people say it. Because people see Trinity as TV gods or TV foreheads. Christians will never say they're TV gods. I can tell you they will never say that. We, we believe in one God. And there's a way we put it that makes it still like there are two gods. But we believe in God the Father. We believe in Jesus the Son. And we believe in the Holy Spirit. These are the three people or three persons we believe in. Yes. So, guys, let's get back into this. You see, you have thrown in so many things in this little contribution of yours that how can we believe in a man who was illiterate and who by bloodshed, who had spread his faith, converted the people. Now with regards to the man being unlearned, this is a fulfillment of the prophecy in your book. A fulfillment. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 12. It says there, and the book is given to him that is not learned. The book... 
please, please. The book is given to him that is not learned, saying, read. And he says, I am not learned. Now, if you look for in the religious history of man, in the Bible, you will never find an occasion where any prophet of God, when given the message of God, he says, I am not learned. But if you read any biography of Muhammad, any written by Muslims or non-Muslims, they will tell you that the first revelation that was given to him in ghar -e hira the Mount of Hira, when the angel of God comes to him and commands him in his mother tongue, he says, Iqra, read. And Muhammad says, Ma ana He said, I'm not learned. So the angel of God commands him a second time, Iqra, read. And again he says, Ma ana He said, I'm not learned. For the third time, the angel of God embraces him hard and he says, Iqra, bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. Now he grasps the message that what he was required to do was to repeat. Because this Arabic word Iqra means to read, to recite, to rehearse, to repeat. And he repeats the words as they were given to him. Iqra, bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. Read in the name of the Lord and cherisher who created. Khalaq al insana min alak. Say, he who created man from a mere clot of congealed blood. Ikra wa rabbuka al-akram. So read and the Lord is most bountiful. So he says, Ikra wa rabbuka al-akram. So Allah zi allama bil kalam. So he who taught the use of the pen. So he says, Allah zi allama bil kalam. So Allah mal insana ma'alam ya'alam. Taught man that which he knew not. The very fact that the man is unlearned is a proof that this book is a book of God. No! I really want to hear what he had to say. You... You, you you know when you say something and you know you, you let me use a six a six look like a nine if you're looking for it if you are looking at it from this side and I'm looking at it as it says oh I feel I can make something look like it was coming from here and you can make something look like it's coming from there but I really wanted to see where he, the Christian guy said it's coming from. Because I feel the person was talking about Abraham or Moses. One of them, but I'm not sure. I'm going to make my search after. That's why I took a picture of the chapter. I'm going to make my search after this, guys. So, tell me what to think. But I feel for people believing in Prophet Muhammad, because what he said kind of looked like or kind of sound like what the book that was there before him. So I don't see the reason why people shouldn't because if you tell them that the Bible is real and they are seeing things that well I believe the, the Quran and the Bible is similar, I can tell you because when he says the first time I listened to I think who is Allah, yes, that was what the title of the reaction was or the title of the clip was. And they said he is one and only, he's mighty God. He, like, I was like, are these guys Christians? Like, because this is exactly the same thing we believe in. So, I can't blame people for, why would I blame people? But, like, people who believed in Prophet Muhammad because of, they saw the same thing that, yo, they were hearing before and he's seen it. So, it's just beautiful. But, I'll end it. Guys, you should like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Peace.